Hi, this is Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. Today I want to show you some new nibs that have come out from Platinum on their 3776 model of pens. They have an extra fine, an ultra extra fine, and a soft fine. Now these are three nibs that I have never seen before. Um, I inked them up, I played with them a little bit, and I wanted to show you what they're all about. I have with me right here three Platinum 3776s. I have one of the original models here, and then these two are called the Black Century. They're newly redesigned with a cap sealing uh, design in them so that they won't dry out for platinum claims uh, a year or more. So that is pretty cool. Um, but that's not really the focus of the video today. The focus of this video is on the new nibs that platinum has come out with. Uh, there's three different nibs. One of them is one that is not regularly available yet. It's the Ultra Extra Fine. Um, and the Extra Fine and Soft Fines are, you know, available in a, a little bit easier in the, in the, um, the Black Century uh, Model 3776 pens for the first time, well, ever, really. Um, these nibs came about, you know, a while ago. We haven't seen any extra fines or ultra extra fines in a very long time since before the Goulet Pen Company was in business. So uh, this is the first time I've really seen any of these things. So I wanted to, to ink them up and show you uh, what's going on with them. Uh, I've got a Rhodia dot pad paper here, 80 gram, nice ink resistant stuff. Um, the ink that I'm using is Noodler's Black right here. The bulletproof black, as it's known by many. Um, this is the ink that I use in the nib nook. So I, um, while I still had the pens inked up from that, I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of show you a live writing sample of each of the three pens. So here we go. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, the first one I'm going to start out with is the extra fine. Actually, I'll start with the soft fine. Let me just go ahead and find it. Here it is. Okay, so this is the soft fine. It's designated. Um, SF right down here. Not sure if you can see that, but it says SF. This is a 14 karat gold nib, and the softness uh, gives it a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of line variation while it writes. If you're familiar at all with the Namiki Falcon, those also have soft nibs available in them as well. This is a similar kind of thing. It's not a true flexible nib in terms of getting you know multiple nib sizes wider um, but it does it does get a little bit wider I'm definitely no pro when it comes to using a soft nib but you can see here you're getting some some definite uh, line variation now you do need to write a little bit slower when you're using this and you only want to press on it when you're on the downstroke. An artist would be able to show this off a little better than me, but hopefully you can just get the idea. Okay, and I'll give a little some X's and O's. So when you flex it, it brings it from about a fine to probably a broad. That's that's where I would classify it. I would say it, it flexes from about a fine to a broad. Now of course if you don't want to press on it very hard you can still write with it like a normal pen. It'll just kind of seem a little springy. Um, it'll give you a little bit of a little um, sort of like a shock absorber on your car. It'll kind of soften the ride a little bit. But um, the the platinum nibs, you know, it's a Japanese company. Their nibs are finer than uh, Western companies like Pelican, Lamy, Kaweco. You know, a lot of the nibs that come from Germany are are at least a full size broader than these are. If you're familiar with Sailor, Platinum, or uh, Set, or um, Pilot, that's what these nib sizes are going to be like. So the fine is really pretty fine. Um, that's the soft fine, so that's that's pretty cool to see. Um, that'll be a nice a nice alternative for people who uh, want a little less stiff nib. Um, the extra fine nib, I'll go to that now, is um, is not soft like this one, but um, it gets quite quite fine. Now 
Now just to give you a reference, these dots on here are five millimeters apart. Now one of the things when you're writing with a nib that's this thin, uh, where the line width is this thin, it has a tendency to want to be really scratchy because you're just writing with such a small tip. But um, these platinums are some of the best I've used in terms of not being scratchy. It's really kind of hard to fight that when you're writing with such a hairline. Um, but uh, really pretty nice. Okay, so that's the extra fine. And then now we have the ultra extra fine. Um, these are not regularly available yet. I don't know if these are going to come about yet. I was able to get my hands on one. Um, so you may not see any of these for a little while. But I'll go ahead and show you what's up with this one. This is the ultra, the Japanese ultra extra fine. It actually makes my handwriting look kind of chicken scratchy because it's it's showing you every little shake that my hand is doing as I'm writing. But this is the this is the smallest nib I've ever used. There. It's absolutely tiny. Now this one in the spirit of the extra fine is going to write um, with a little more resistance, a little more tooth than uh, than even the extra fine does. So you kind of slow down a little bit. You got to write with a light hand when you're using a nib this fine. To give you an idea of how these compare, I wanted to show you a Twisby extra fine, a Diamond 540 extra fine, and a Lamy uh, steel extra fine nib uh, as a comparison. Maybe to just kind of help give you a little bit of an idea. So here we go. So there's a Lamy Extra Fine. It's definitely a little scratchier than, um, of course, you're talking about, you know, this is like a around $12 for this nib versus, you know, over 100 for the Platinum. But that gives you an idea there. Um, you know, the Platinum Extra Fine is actually not too far off from the Lamy Extra Fine. And uh, here's the Twisby. There you go. Twisby is definitely smoother than that Lamy was just a second ago. Well, there you go. The Twisby Extra Fine is going to be, um, you know, not too far from the, the Platinum Extra Fine. So, uh, there you have it. Those are the new Platinum nibs. The um, As of the making of this video, of course, this could always change. So, you know, check if you're seeing this video after, you know, far after July of 2012, um, as it is right now, the extra fine and the soft fine is available only on the Platinum Black Century 3776. And the soft fine is available on the 3776 Shoji Limited Edition pen, but that will probably not be around much longer after I make this video. So, you know, look around for that a little bit. But uh, anyway, hopefully this, uh, this kind of gives you an idea of what's up with these nibs. Hope you enjoyed my video here. If you have any questions, you can always email me at brian at Thanks so much for watching and right on.